All right, guys, welcome back to another video episode. It's been a while since I fished. I think I fished like two weeks ago on the dolphin, the most recent video you guys seen. All right, just wanna do a video to show you guys some new gear I picked up and some has been sitting and some stuff that came in the mail from Tackle Warehouse and some exclusive stuff I actually got about a month and a half ago, like during ICAST. So, all right, let's get to it. First thing I want to show you guys, let's move this back aside. First thing I want to show you guys is the new Phoenix rod I picked up. I already have one of these. This is the Phoenix Recon Elite 7.4, medium heavy, fast action. It's rated to uh, three from three eighths to one and a quarter. I'm actually, uh, this is actually retails for 189. And I'll show you guys what reel is going to be going on this fresh rod. So I'll get to that towards the end. So let's set this bad boy down. I picked up something while well, I was in the market for a new a offshore bag or a boat bag. Like to go, you know, skiffing and all that stuff. I hate bringing my backpack. So I came, stumbled across this bag. Here you go. Quick look. This is the Calcutta something something rolling bag i don't know the model but i got it for dirt cheap i mean retails for 199 it's actually right here calcutta wheel tackle box i'm using it for offshore as like you know the dolphin new c4 for taking my skiff out or taking or going on someone else's boat it's so much easier to bring on there than a backpack so i can fit all my camera gear and some trays what it comes with is i believe one two three four five 53700 size trays right here retails for 199 comes with that I think I got it for a deal because uh, it was broken you can say or damaged and during shipping so the shop gave it away pretty much for like dirt cheap it has one pocket for the trays two pockets each size for utilities and I believe this pocket right here this pocket holds jigs, top water, jerk baits, anything. You can it's actually removable, so you can take that out. I used to own the actual tackle backpack, similar, you know, has similar style, but a backpack version. You guys probably seen it like my very, very, very earlier videos. So this is the bag, my offshore bag or boating bag or whatever you want to call it. it has wheels, easy to pull when it's super heavy with irons, baits, hooks, all that other stuff. A baby, who knows. But inside of it, I, I got I put in all the stuff that I got in the mail. All right, so inside, I, right here, I got all these hard baits that I got on sale. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's more. Yeah, there's more. These were on sale at Dick Sporting Goods. Right here, some Yaziri baits, some sashimi. Yeah, some sashimis. Just buy two, get one free, and they were on sale. They were like eight bucks a piece. So let me see the names of these. This is a Sashimi Shad FWSP, Suspending Shad Jerkbait. Yeah. And these are called the Jointed FW. And the rest that you saw, these, these three, they're called the Sashimi Minnow FW. These are floating jerkbaits. Probably gonna use it later on this year for Bonito. And let's put these aside. Saw these poppers also on sale. They're like a dollar a piece. They're by Lunker Hunt. I got four different colors. This one is the uh, Eruption color. The Lunker Hunt Rough Night. Bringing sexy shad back. And this one I know will definitely kill it in our bays. It's called You're My Boy Blue. It's the Lunker Hunt popper. And those are the hard baits. Yeah, also also picked this guy up. The Yoziri flat crank. Pretty cool. I mean the bill is shaped kinda we all know if you can see it, but it's shaped differently. It's a thin profile, white with blood coming out of its uh its gills. So that's what I got so far. This is all from Dick's Sporting Goods. It was on sale about two, three weeks ago. And it's just been sitting there. I completely forgot about them. Or oh, reloaded on some. Um Storm. Storm came out with the 3, 360 GT swim baits earlier this year at Bassmaster Classic, I believe. It's been out for a year or maybe longer. Maybe I'm wrong. 
but they just released these uh, 360 GT Coastal shrimp, three inch shrimp pink. This one is, they have one pre-rigged and it comes with four plastics. This is pre-rigged one eighth ounce weighted hook. Uh, I usually don't use weighted hook, but you know, they just give you, they just show you how it could be rigged. And uh, the other one, it's the same thing, three inch shrimp, 360 GT Coastal by Storm. It's rigged with a little jig head. I don't know what color this is. Yeah, this one is rigged with a 1 8 2 watt jig. I don't know if you see it, but right there. Yep. Oh yeah, this one is root beer. Root beer. Pink ghost. So that's those two. And I ran out of these guys when I went on a skip trip route a while ago. You know, Zoom, Fat Alberts, Sartreuse Pepper, or yeah, Sartreuse Pepper. These guys kill it in the bay. Check them out, they're affordable, like four bucks, three bucks a pack, depending on where you get it. This is from Tackle Warehouse. So, those are my soft plastics, a Bass Pro Shop lure cover. I don't use this on my rods like it's made for. I'm actually gonna put spinner baits and buzz baits or chatter baits in here instead of putting them in trays. Open them up their Velcro, I pretty much open them up, lay them down, and the Velcro shut. I just tuck them in my backpack. I, I got this idea from uh, one rod one reel he doesn't use it when he doesn't actually put it on his rod how it's supposed to be made he just actually put a uh, spinner baits and all of his other you know blade baits or whatever in here instead of in trays clinging around this helps helps keep it secure Let's see I know I got some line up in here all right got some some new braid some braid some power pro standard braid this one is 20 pound 20 yeah 20 pound test I actually got two this is all I really use on my reel 20 pound 15 pound 10 pound and sometimes 30 on charter I'll push it up to 40 to 50 depending on the season moss green if they had red I'd get red but apparently you pay like 10 more bucks just for the color change these are very affordable best line I don't care what anyone says it's my favorite line I mean I tried other other lines before I tried power pro super slick once before and they always broke off on me but I had a good friend recommending me to throw this onto my new combo I'm about to show you this is a super slick aqua green 40 pound test right there and of course my favorite leader line red label by Seeger this is 10 pound I usually use 20 17 15 10 Never eight, because I fished a bay, so you never know what you're gonna hook up on. And Bonito's coming in, so it's by Buck Wild. So that's my line. Got some of these jig heads that a buddy of mine has told me to give it a try. They're by VMC, Neon Moon Eye. This one is the quarter ounce Sartreuse, or they call it the quarter ounce clown, Neon Moon Eye jig by VMC. He's a two watt hook. Not bad, you can give that a shot. And I also picked up 3 8 ounce called the fat head 3 8 ounce fat head color neon moon jig I think the hooks are yeah the hooks are the same size yeah same size hooks Just a heavier head the Fuji easy hook holder uh, when I do my arsenal video I will tell you how I color coordinate these and I will explain why I use them and these are my favorite hook holders they don't mess up the blank or anything two o-rings one for a very small thin blank and one for standard size blank so I've got six of these in black well break it down I use black for the salt water and red for all my freshwater rods when my arsenal video comes out you'll, you'll understand why I got tape on my rods all right so this is everything right here that I got surprise Got this during ICAST. It is the Cronark 150 HG. This is the G series, the saltwater series that was just released. And it actually was on Tackle Warehouse, sold out about two days ago from today. And I, I happened to get my hands on one about, if you see my Instagram post, about a month ago, month and a half ago. Let's show you guys how it looks. This is a HG, meaning it is a semi gear ratio. This is a 151 HG 
Chronarch G. This is a lefty. You guys get a better view of that. Probably do some close up shots. This is my first impressions of it. The color is a lot different from, what's it called? The, the CI4 I had before. And the MGL is like all like gunmetal jet gray. This guy is dark gray, jet gray, very dark. And it has blue pearls. It's made for the saltwater guys. They got the, the new handles, the new knobs, the new end caps that they're using in the 2017 line. It has, uh, I don't know much about this reel. This is my first impression. It is made in Japan. It's a sleek reel. It's a 150 size. And I'm throwing 40 pounds super slick on this guy. So that's probably going to get like 130 something yards, 140 yards. I'll do some more close ups. I will be doing my next video hopefully soon. Another video just, I'm only going to bring this combo out. And I'm only going to fish with this combo. This reel is going on this rod but my next outing is going to be dedicated to testing out this reel how it can hold i'm gonna try some top watering probably try to land some cor some corvina some halibut who knows what the hell i catch probably a bunch of dinks but you know that's all i really do catch but yeah that sums it up for everything that i got that is new sand summer um just a couple hard baits some soft plastics some new storage new reel new rod everything so hope you guys enjoy this and if you guys have any questions about anything that i showed you guys here please leave in the comments below and until next time peace